Welcome to the final day of racing at the Qualcomm Star World Championship 2013, where the atmosphere is electrifying. A clear start saw the fleet spread along the line. With the top eight boats very close in points at the overall ranking, it would be a tactical game today between them. The breeze was stronger than every other day, offering a great spectacle, as crews were hiking hard and the boats were sailing fast to the upwind mark. The right side was again the favorable one, as the team soon tacked and headed there, as the wind was stronger. First to reach the windward mark was the American Diaz with crew Boltons, followed by the Brazilians Pascalato and Boning. Closely behind them in third place were yesterday's race winners Campbell and Von Swartz, with Rohar and Polfer on their tail in fourth. Campbell was very close to a podium finish, and Rohar could be seeing gold with his main opponent, McCausland, outside top 20 boats. An exceptional downwind leg for Rahar saw him rounding in second place behind Diaz and getting this way one step closer to his second gold medal in a Star World Championship. Further back inside the top 10 boats was Reynolds and his crew Hainel, closely following and ready to strike back, aiming for a medal too. What happened after could not be described as the wind dropped dramatically, shifting to the left and shuffling the fleet radically. Big winner out of this situation was Campbell, that was now in first place, having his main adversaries at the back of the fleet, among them Rohara and McCausland. Although McCausland could not lose first place from anyone but Rohara, all the other spots at the podium were wide open for the rest of the top teams to claim. So Campbell grabbed that opportunity and sailed the last upwind conservatively to score his second bullet in the championship and claim second place overall. An overwhelming result for the team that could not hide their excitement as they crossed the finish line. The remaining place at the podium went to Reynolds and Hainel. They once again proved that experience is important in a class like the star. But let's hear more from the 2013 world champion McCausland. First Worlds I sailed was 1981 with my father and so I think that's 32 years ago and I try and try and try and this was the goal for me my whole life to be able to do this and I feel very satisfied, very relieved that it's over, it'll all sink in I'm sure, but I'm, I'm thrilled. I, I mean I couldn't ask for any more. My crew Phil Trinner could not have done it without him. He's a He's second to none. An All-American podium at the end with the French Rohara and Polfa following in fourth, all of them very close in points showing how high the level was at this World Championship. The award ceremony that followed soon after the races brought the winners in front of a warm audience, receiving their trophies and celebrating their world titles as the 2013 Qualcomm Star Worlds came to an end today in San Diego. Thanks for watching.